the dragon, the princess and Jack. In a cave there lived a dragon. Whenever anyone would approach, it would spit fire. The dragon guarded a tall tower in which he had imprisoned a princess. She spent her days taking off and turning the rings on her fingers and admiring her necklace. She had a small window through which she could see the sun. She could also see the sea and the waves. One day a storm cloud approached and she thought she saw people running to take shelter. Suddenly there was a lightning flash. But the wind blew the clouds away. And the sea became calm again. And the storm disappeared the way dewdrops disappear in the early morning. One summer, people started building a house. First they marked out the plot of land. They dug foundations, built walls, threw a tarpaulin over before the roof was made. Two builders climbed inside to tie it down one windy night. Then the tilers climbed up on the roof and nailed down tiles to make it waterproof. Finally the house was built and was beautiful and strong. A family moved into the house. One day a boy ventured out and shot an arrow into a tree. That night as he lay sleeping a figure appeared and spoke to him. Fetch your lost arrow and you will learn the secret of how to slay the dragon and save the princess. And went out into the night to the waterfall where a fish was leaping. He caught the fish but threw it back. He approached the tallest tree, ducked his head under the lowest branch got caught on some brambles, lifted them off, put his foot at the foot of the tree and started to climb. Up he climbed, one step at a time, one hand then the other. The bark fell and the leaves shivered. He stopped and shivered and climbed all the way to the top. While he was up there, Two mischievous gnomes appeared and started to soar. The tree fell and so did the young man. He landed on moss. A spider wove a web around him. And as it wove, it told him a secret and thanked him for saving the fish. He got up and he knew what to do. He approached the left ear of the dragon shouted boo making the dragon leap in the air it bit the first thing that it saw its own tail and fell down dead the princess was freed they married and they lived happily ever after